Hey guys, um, for this review, I am going to be doing a review of um, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Um, I originally had not planned on seeing this movie. I had gone to the movie theater and I was in the mood to, uh, you know, mock a movie, um, you know, over how terrible it is. So I was going to see Flash, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, they weren't showing it anymore, of course, and so I just went with this one because it's at least, you know, everything else was just not interesting at all to me, and so, yeah, I ended up watching the um this movie, and it's just your generic action movie, let's be honest. Um, it didn't try anything new, and if you if that's fine with you, then you probably enjoy this movie. I tend to be the one who likes something that will, you know, stimulate me intellectually at least, you know, make me think. And this was not that. <laughs> um, so the movie, uh, of course, follows. Um, I mean, to start with um, Indiana Jones and Basil, his friend. They're in Nazi Germany during World War II, and um, yeah, Basil's trying to escape the Nazis, but of course he gets captured, and India, Indy gets captured, of course, um, and they try hanging him, and uh, of course the hanging doesn't kill him, um, and neither does a bomb that literally falls like right in front of him and yeah it goes down like two to three stories but it happens to kill all the Jotties that are around him but happens to spare Indiana Jones which of course convenient uh, you know plot dip, you know demanded it but still it gets to the point that you just don't it's ridiculous and you can't take anything in this movie seriously but yeah um, Indy of course ends up escaping and uh, Basil gets taken on to this train with Nazis and so Indy eventually gets onto this train and you get this ridiculous embarrassing scene with an obviously CGI person running on the top of the train that's literally no it's just embarrassing let's just say that <laughs> um and so he eventually gets in the train he has to go through you know this train full of Nazis he's looking for like this I think it was like a spare spear or something um, he ends up finding it, but it's a fake, but, uh, Mads, um, I forgot his last name, but he's placed the main Nazi, of course, um, he shows up, and he has the Doll of Destiny, and he's trying to convince the head Nazi to, to take him to Hitler so that he can show it to him, because he says it's gonna go back, you know, turn back time, or, you know, help them go back in time, they don't believe him, of course, um, but Basil, here overhears him, and so when they're escaping, um, they end up taking out Mads and then stealing the dial, and then there's a chase on the top of the train again, and then Mads shows up and tries to take the um, the um, dial, and of course he gets like he you know he gets hit by one of those like um, I don't know a piece of wood, one of those I don't know he gets taken out. Um, you know, he hits something, and of course he ends up surviving because he's the main villain of the movie. And just, of course, people are um, surviving ridiculous things because the plot demands it. But anyways, um, but yeah, um, something else with this uh, flashback. Um, I think they do the whole, they take an actor that looks similar to Harrison Ford, have the same build, and then just CGI his face on but you know making it yelp younger and I guess you could say it worked but still it just with everything going on it just it gives me a, a sour taste in my mouth because of, of just everything's going on right now but yeah anyways we flash to the present I mean you don't call that the present because it's literally like this 80s, 90s, whenever, um, it's just after the moon landing, and, um, um, yeah, Indy is, uh, still working for the college, and, um, apparently he's 
um, just retired. And so, yeah, we get that. And then um, Helena Shaw shows up and she's the goddaughter of Indy. She's the daughter of Basil. And she wants to look at the Dial of Destiny or whatever it is they call it. But because um, Basil has given it to him to destroy, but he doesn't destroy it, of course. And so um, that's when a bunch of, you know, turns out Nazis um, show up and um, there's a black woman along with them. And it turns out she's working for the government and is kind of, I guess, an escort because Mads is apparently helped them get to the moon and so now he's like, you know, um, a celebrity if you will. But yeah, Mads pretty much just obsessed with the dial and so he goes after it. Or, um, you know, they, they're going after um, Helena and so they end up running into Helena and Indiana Jones and so Helena ends up escaping by trapping Indy there with them and he fights some of them but he ends up ultimately getting captured and so of course um the fucking chick um is shocked when the dumbasses start shooting people you know and and, and yeah it's so stupid I mean it's not surprising the Nazi or uh, the government did in fact work with Nazis because it you know benefited them after the World War II so yeah <laughs> Not surprising, but infuriating. Anyway, surprise, um, Mads henchmen end up killing her. But before that happens, they do this whole entire chase scene. They're doing this parade for like the astronauts. And so, the, you know, there's a parade and there's a bunch of people. And Indy uses that um, as an opportunity to escape. And so he steals a police horse. And we get this entire chase scene with a motorcycle and a car you know, and a horse, and he ends up down in the subway, and of course, the horse doesn't break its legs after, you know, running all on the tracks, and he eventually ends up in, I don't know what the place is called, but Helena Shaw is there, and she's trying to sell the Dial of Destiny, or, yeah, um, yeah, um, I guess she's just a thief now, thief steal, or, um, selling stuff. I think she's in debt with this dude who bailed her out but also is in love with her and so he's mad at her for um, pretty much I guess using him and so I think she's trying to sell the dial to pay money for him. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways we get this entire chase scene between him, Mads, and Indiana Jones. And so yeah it was a long chase scene and for the most part just running into shit and eventually um we I think the Nazis keep the dial of time um eventually they go onto a boat because there's like the second part that they have to get to and so they um find uh Antonio Banderas's character I don't know if he was in previous movies, but yeah, he, is, I guess, is a friend of Andy's, I'm assuming. And so he takes him out and, you know, he has scuba gear. And when I say it is literally like the, the cheapest scuba gear you could, I've ever seen. I'm assuming it's because, you know, with the time period, it's what they had. Um, but, yeah, anyways, it's pretty much, um, let's just say that they can only be down there for like five to ten minutes uh, before they ran out of air, and, uh, yeah. Anyways, and they go down into this shipwreck to get this object, I can't really actually remember what it was, um, and, uh, they come back up, and of course, Madge shows up again, because of course they do. Um, so predictable plot. And um, he threatens to kill people if Indy doesn't tell him exactly what the, um, what is it? I think it's like a book or some text because 
it's actually text that um, Basil had made up and he's taught his daughter how to read it and he's taught Indy how to read it. And so he threatens, well, he kills um, Antonio Banderas' character um, and threatens to kill the others. And so Helena um, tells him um, what um, it says uh, if he promises to pay her. And so she goes on this like very kind of snarky, gloating, just telling him exactly um, what's on it, but also kind of, he, she's giving him hints, but she's like letting him fill in all the blanks. Um, so pretty much suggest, suggestion. And then, um, okay, of course there happened to be dynamite there. So she, she lights a cigarette and then puts it behind her back so that Indiana Jones can light the fuse to, you know, blow up the, uh, or escape. And so they do end up escaping and they go to this place. I don't know what it, where it was. And I think they're like getting supplies to go to the next place. And then, um, forgot to mention that there's, um, Helena has this boy with her, Teddy, his name was, and he's essentially just short round. Um, you know, he's the, the, the psychic. Um, but yeah, of course he gets, he, he wanders off and gets kidnapped by the, you know, the Nazis. And so, yeah, um, so instead of go after him, they just go after the, what is it, the tomb where the, um, was it, was it Aristotle, not Aristotle, um, Archimedes? Um, I believe that's what, who it was. And yeah, he goes to their tomb and they figure out the mystery and all that and, yeah, I, shit, I can't remember what they got. I don't know. <laughs> of course, the Nazis show up. There's a fight. And then, yeah, Indy gets shot. The other two escape. They take Indy onto the plane, and uh, they are going up into the air where they open a portal in the sky to go through to um, Madge wanting to go to the... Um, was it um when Hitler uh, before Hitler kills himself um because I think he wants to change time or something or I don't know he says he knows all like the mistakes that the Nazis made so I guess he's gonna um fix them and so yeah they take Indy with him and of course um Helena is able to get onto the plane um through the the landing gear before it goes up and then Teddy, you know, uh, apparently because he learned, uh, talked to like pilots, is able to actually pilot a plane now. And so he goes and follows the, you know, the Nazis plane into the portal. And of course, <laughs> um, kind of a funny part um, in the movie, uh, in the plane, Teddy's plane that he steals, the pilot was like sleeping in the back. And so he wakes up and he starts like, panicking because the guy's like you know is flying his plane and yeah he goes with him into the um portal and uh for uh, apparently um the nazi did not um take into account like stream current stream stream current whatever the fuck it was um that have i guess um the changes of the earth throughout um the time since world war ii and so, um, yeah, they miscalculated, let's just say that. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, um, you know, um, I think that favorite scene is when, um, they are going through the portal and then we get a lot of, like, explosions and you're thinking that they're in World War II and then you look down and there are actual, like, ships, like the, um, the Roman ships. And so they've gone back to Roman times where I guess, I don't know what exactly the battle was, but Archimedes, or, uh, or Archimedes, what the fuck is his name? Anyway, the dude who made the dial, I'll just say that. He's trying to escape Rome and he hides it. He broke the dial in two and hid it so that the Romans going to get it. Well, now he's, this has taken place that um, during that time, 
and he's trying to get ready to like take the dial and hide it but then he sees a plane and I'm assuming he figures out what happens and so he goes to where the plane lands and sees all the wreckage and then he sees the other plane landing and so he goes to that <coughs> and uh yeah um the Indy um and Helena meet the dude and they know of course how to speak um, Latin and so they're pretty much conversing with him in Latin and Indy um he wants to stay there um in that time period because he's an archaeologist and um <clears throat> but Helena does not want him to and so she does the uh I guess you know she's Indy's god daughter so she punches him and knocks him out and he wakes up in his apartment in, you know, the present time period. And, uh, and of course, um, we get the happy ending where, um, like before, Indy and Marilyn, Marion, Marion, whatever her name was, had broken up um, because apparently, um, their son had gone off to war after Indy had, you know, fought with him, um, I guess because he wanted to go to war, and he said that if he went to war, then he would die, and, you know, he would break his mother's heart, and she couldn't get over it, and it would, you know, um, break their marriage apart, and I guess he was right, but I guess that, yeah, so they're exchanged at the moment, but then at the very end, she shows up, and of course, they reconcile, and yeah. That's one of the things I was thinking of, like, I was like, they didn't have any children at all, um, during this, like, entire, like, three movies that they've supposedly been together, I guess. I had completely forgotten that they're supposed to have a kid in the last one, um, it was, uh, Shiloh LaBeouf's character, uh, Mutt. I had forgotten about that, and I... Thank God I didn't have to deal with Shiloh LaBeouf in this movie. I'm glad they killed him off. But yeah. Yeah, it was just... That was it for the movie. A lot of action scenes that... I would say don't particularly try anything impressive. I don't think. Except for like the very end when they're doing the... The German um, ship. Or the aircraft is, you know, fighting the, the Roman ships. I thought that was interesting and cool. Um, different, definitely. Story was, it's your typical action story, just generic plot. Acting, uh, it was fine. Nothing Oscar worthy, I guess. Um, they're like, it, it feels like they kind of do a few things that I guess if you're a fan of the Indiana Jones movies, you either appreciate or you feel like they're just trying to prey on nostalgia. Um, so, for example, they're in the um, they scuba dive and there's like apparently eels um, that have a tendency to bite. And uh, it was it uh, Teddy mentions how they look like snakes, and so of course, you know the whole snake thing with Indy. And then of course. Um, I'm sure that uh, Helena is supposed to be kind of the predecessor of, she's supposed to be the, um, you know, the take up the reins of Indiana Jones and Teddy's supposed to be, I guess, the sidekick, <clears throat> I'm assuming. I mean, I wouldn't mind the actress taking up the reins because I thought she was good. It's really all I can say. It's just, it was a movie. Um... <clears throat> nothing intellectual about it if, if that's what you're going for um if you're just going for action you'll probably like it <coughs> but anyways so that was my review of uh, indiana jones and dial of destiny so if you did like this video give it a like subscribe to get a notification for all the videos i'll be doing you guys have a nice night stay safe out there and talk to you later